and welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. While vitamin C's general immune benefits are well known, most people don't often consider the effect this critical antioxidant has on our lungs. I've discussed before how vitamin C is required to constantly maintain the integrity of collagen fibers throughout the body, and this maintenance consequently keeps our bones, muscles, ligaments, tendons, skin, and countless other tissues strong and elastic. Vitamin C is also a powerful modulator of inflammation. While some oxidative stress is a normal consequence of metabolism, when the body is under any kind of infection, oxidative stress increases exponentially, and with oxidative stress comes a systemic increase in inflammation. Countering this inflammation will demand even more vitamin C than usual, and if you're not regularly consuming vitamin C, the optimal maintenance of your body's collagen fibers will certainly suffer. Ordinarily, when the body is healthy, vitamin C has maybe a four-hour lifespan in the bloodstream. Also, the only place in the body that stores vitamin C is the adrenal glands, and you've definitely heard me talk about how depleted the average person's adrenal glands are. In the presence of any kind of invading organism, vitamin C is consumed even faster. Our white blood cells also utilize vitamin C, specifically in their production of hydrogen peroxide, which they use to destroy infectious organisms. So what does this mean for the lungs? Collagen fibers are an essential component of the membrane which surrounds the alveoli at the end of the bronchial tubes. This membrane is critical for life as it facilitates the constant exchange of carbon dioxide from the body fluids and oxygen from the lungs. This extremely thin membrane, which is comprised of collagen fibers, also keeps fluid out of the lungs. As I've said, the constant breakdown of collagen fibers throughout the body is not a problem until the body's need for vitamin C vastly outpaces the daily intake of vitamin C, as it would in a severe viral and or microbial infection. With what little vitamin C we have being drained to fight the invader, the alveolar membrane in the lungs weakens significantly, quickly degrades, and this is when fluid can leak into the lungs and disrupt the exchange of oxygen and CO2. Taking a moderate dose of vitamin C, like around 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams three to five times each day, can significantly enhance the body's collagen maintenance, which includes the alveolar membrane in the lungs. I would also be taking a vitamin C that includes bioflavonoids, which dramatically improve vitamin C absorption. Pairing your vitamin C with some flushing niacin, which is also known as vitamin B3, can also help as niacin restores the interior lining of blood vessels, known as the intima, and also supports proper oxygenation of the arteries and reduced blood clotting. All of these things make it much easier to breathe throughout the day. Protecting and optimizing your lung function through regular intake of vitamin C is extremely easy because of how accessible and cheap vitamin C is. I hope understanding how vitamin C protects such a critical and yet very delicate component of your lung tissue gives you new inspiration to consume it more regularly. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.